Good day, my name is Oliver Tree, and today we're doing five songs in the life. I think the best song to sum up my teenage years would probably be my song Alien Boy. Um, that song was really written about not fitting in and just being a little outside the box and you know a lot of people would make fun of me for that but the truth is I'm laughing all the way to the bank and I made that song and went platinum sold a million copies in America and I don't give a shit what they think now I'm doing it I'm living it and uh, everyone else can suck my dick I think one of the songs that has inspired me the most in my own music, uh, I would probably say Mr. Regular. It's a song I actually made. Um, came out with a New Zealand DJ named What's So Not. And um, this song is a good reminder that uh, you don't need to be like everyone else, you don't need to fit in. So I just throw my middle fingers up, fuck everybody. So one song that makes me really think of my family is called I Hate You. It's a song I wrote about them about two years ago and it recently came out and you know I love my family but uh, I think like anyone, love and hate, you know, they're very similar feelings and I feel that way about my parents. I love them to death but I also hate them. I think the song that makes me want to dance the most is called 1993. It's uh, the only song that has a feature on my first album, Ugly is Beautiful. It's with this guy, Little Ricky ZR3. You be you made your life and this dude, in my opinion, is the best artist of our generation. Really underappreciated, um, but I've been helping executively produce his mixtape, and some of the music he's making is. I think it really is pushing forward not only culture but sonics in general and um, he's working on a new project with a new band. We had a bit of a falling out he's kind of doing his own thing but I wish him the best whatever he does. But 1993 is a bop and I just dance every time I hear that I can't help but jump and pogo around. But now the sun stops shining here in the wild <sighs> One song that always makes me feel emotional is my song Cowboys Don't Cry. I cry a lot. I cry at least, you know, four or five times a week. And so whenever I put that song on, it just brings me to tears. And it reminds me how much my life's fallen apart in the last five or six years. And it's, uh, <clears throat> sorry, I'm getting emotional here. <sighs> it's okay to cry, you know, and that's one message that I really try to put in my music. And the truth is, people are going to make fun of you for it. Well, just tell them to go fuck themselves. So the song that gets me the most excited at this moment um, would probably have to be my new song, Placeholder. I see all of my delusions, I look the other way. This song is really about a placeholder at a dinner table. I went to this super fancy dinner, and the person who was sitting next to me, they didn't show up, and um, I later found out that they actually passed away, which was a whole other conversation. But basically, they had the most elaborate setup, uh, an actual placeholder that was holding their space so there was all these decadent dishes, gold lining and there was just you know fancy forks and spoons. There was like five forks, different sizes, three different spoons, steak knives, butter knives, the works and uh, after I, I went to that dinner I was really just kind of taken back and I just I went directly to the studio and I wrote the song. <laughs> 